We're the oldest barbecue restaurant in Texas, continuously owned by the same family. That is absolutely incredible. <laughs> it takes a lot of work and a lot of wood. Yes. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Kellyanne here, your host for Eat Drink Local Texas, your traveling team bringing you the best places to eat, drink, and play in the great state of Texas. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you know when we get our next adventure. Today, we are at Black's Barbecue, one of the oldest barbecue places in Texas at their newest location in New Braunfels. Let's check it out. <laughs> Welcome. Today we are here with Eric, fourth generation pit master here at Black's Barbecue. Eric, thank you so much for having us here today. You bet. Welcome. So, uh, see what we've got here. Uh, tell me a little bit about like this sausage that we've got going on. This is our homemade uh, sausage recipe. We've got our original recipe and we've also got a uh, jalapeno cheddar, which you got a piece of. Um, it's an all-natural casing that we use for that, and uh, it's something we've been doing for a real long time. Well, I can really taste the cheese in that. <laughs> and then, what else have we got here? What would you say is the most popular meat that you guys do? Our most popular item by far is the brisket, okay. which is, uh, we consider it a perfect cut of meat because it's got a lean in, and it's also got the, the fatty, juicier end. Um, we use just a salt and pepper rub. Uh, we cook each brisket for probably 10 to 12 hours. And um, it's our number one item. It's what brings people out. I can definitely see why. That just fell right <laughs> off of there, which was amazing. We've also got like this uh, rib here. What's... We've got our pork spare ribs okay. right here. And it is just uh, oh. salt, pepper, and smoke, and low and slow on the cooking. Wow. <laughs> that fell right off the bone. I was raised in Texas, eating a lot of barbecue, and I love ribs, and it has never fallen off the way that, that has fallen <laughs> off of the bone. Well, good deal. That was awesome. Uh, our other rib is the giant beef rib. The um, ginormous. The ginormous beef rib. It comes in a rack of three and it is real close in the cow to where the prime rib comes from. So it's a very rich, uh, flavorful uh, piece that. of meat. <laughs> this is it's humongous. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can take a bite of this. Let's see. Let's see. Good job. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Become a, a real popular item for us, for sure. And uh, we also got some poultry um, on the menu with mm -hmm. our uh, smoked chicken see here. and our uh, smoked turkey breast as well. What kind of seasonings do you have on the, on the chicken here? Just all of our meats, we just use salt, pepper, um, and smoke. That's it. Yeah. That's the only ingredients that go into uh, all of our meat products. Well, tell me about some of the sides here. Um, all right. What goes into things like, um, do you guys have like any older recipes or? Sure, we've got some older ones and some newer ones here. Uh, we've got our traditional coleslaw potato salad. That's always really good in the, in the summertime. The traditional barbecue plate is typically brisket, spare ribs, uh, actually brisket, sausage, mm -hmm. pinto beans, and potato salad is probably the traditional barbecue plate, but we've also got our cream corn, um, some extra cheesy mac and cheese, green beans, and of course, uh, my grandmother's homemade pinto bean recipe. We call wow. them Norma Jean's beans. <laughs> and uh, she came up with that recipe and uh, we're still serving it today. Well, let's give them a taste. Let's All see right. how Norma Jean's beans are. <laughs> That's really good. That is amazing. Well, she did a great job with that recipe. <laughs> Thank you. We saw a lot of them. 
This particular location has a little bit of history. Would you want to tell me about that? It does. Bit? It's got. It was a. Okay. Um, but back in the '60s and '70s, it was a popular New Braunfels spot called the Crystal Chandelier Dance Hall. Yeah. Uh, my grandmother Norma Jean and my dad Kent, uh, they all came driving over here from Lockhart way back in the day mm -hmm. and saw people like George Strait got to start here. So uh, it's got a lot of cool history in this building before it was uh, ever a barbecue restaurant. That's amazing. I'm sure any fan of country music can definitely appreciate a good George Strait original oh, spot. you bet, especially around here. <laughs> and uh, I also believe that you guys sell like uh, your own barbecue sauces and barbecue rubs. Is we do, we sell them at uh, all four locations, which of course the original is in Lockhart. Mm -hmm. We also have a location in Austin up by UT, at, uh, 31st in Guadalupe over there. And we have one in San Marcos and our newest restaurant here in New Braunfels. Uh, we sell all our sauces, rubs, uh, trucker hats, t-shirts. <laughs> Uh, we also sell everything through our website as well, blacksbbq.com. Uh, you can ship your friends or family anywhere in the United States. Any of these great meats are offered uh, through our website as well as those sauces and uh, merchandise as well. Hear that, you guys? You got to go online and order some because I can promise you it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Eric, for letting us come in and try this amazing food. If you guys are ever in Lockhart, Austin, New Braunfels, you've got to come check out this amazing barbecue. And if you ever do, make sure to tell them that Eat Drink Local Texas sets y'all.